Well, welcome guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. So this is the Metal Slug Anthology for the PlayStation 2. So this was originally for the Neo Geo, made by SNK, but it got ported to other systems, and this is one of them. So this contains Metal Slug 1 through 6, and I think it has total... There's 2, X, 3, 4, 5, and 6, yeah. Because I think... X and 2 or X and 3 are interchangeable. There's just like slight differences between them. Anyway, let's go to the options real quick. Okay, that looks good. Audio's where I want it to be. Now, I'm not going to set it to free play because I at least want there to be, you know, some kind of risk for playing through this. Because, you know, this is a run and gun and. It's expecting you to use quarters and stuff at arcades, so we're going to go by those rules. Alright, so we're going to play the very first game in the series, Metal Slug 1. Let's rock. I don't know how well I'll do. Hopefully I'll do okay, but we'll see. But these games can be notoriously difficult. The first one's not too bad, though, I think. Okay, so this game is a run and gun just like Contra, so that means one hit and you're dead. So we're gonna have to be careful. Now, we just picked up a heavy machine gun. It does not have continuous fire by holding the button down, so you do have to keep tapping it if you want to keep firing uh, in, in succession. Just keep that in mind for this weapon. Alright, we got ourselves the flame shot. Take up this helicopter. It's gone. Alright, now this right here is a metal slug. Which means we have our own tank now. And it does actually have an HP bar, unlike our character, which only which dies in one hit. So it's very useful. And if it gets damaged, you can also pick up fuel to restore its HP as well. that prisoner there. Oh, prisoners, by the way. If, when you rescue them, they'll either drop uh, something that adds to your score, or they'll give you ammunition or new weapons. So they're very much worth saving. They also contribute to your bonus score at the end. Okay, boss time. Got a duck! Jump! Oh, never mind, he's dead. Something to keep, another thing to keep in mind, though, is your the prisoners you save do count towards your bonus score at the end, but only if you don't die. When you die, you lose any prisoners that you saved. Not that that's really a big deal, it's only for score, but there you go. Anyway, stage one complete. 